Is anyone there? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> afraid to touch YouTube. It's a good one. Oh. Hey, y'all. Uh, can you hear me? Can you see me? Oh. I'm not sure if anyone's here. <laughs> the viewer counts as eight, so surely. Oh, uh, yeah, let's uh, reselect. I'm not sure when it uh, disconnected. All I know is I was talking about babies and stupid ass kids. Dumb, stupid little bastards. Oh, there's a blue bar. Blue bar? Stop it. I think my computer's just fucking up. Is my computer dying? Is that it? Oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think the task bar just fucking died. There we go. I had to go through and uh, uh, and uh, look at my memory, memory, memory. I'll be really sad if my computer suddenly dies. go we're finally reconnected to chat can you hear me can you see me have I been gone oh finally oh oh there we go oh I love seeing that brood yeah here we go I've I we just reconnected to chat have you been able to hear me I haven't been able to see you guys like I see the viewer count in chat oh no <laughs> I was just fucking talking to myself. Oh god, I like half selected this. That's epic. Oh no, and I wasn't even here to. Oh no. That's so sad. I. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just saw you now. Okay. Yeah, maybe my computer just had a, a weird hiccup. Weird diaper moment. Love to ourself. You weren't talking about me behind my back, were you? You would never do that. Never. Oh god. Okay, maybe I do, do deserve to get talked about behind my back. Oh my- oh baby. Yeah, my, my internet like completely went out. <laughs> of course not. You're like, oh my god, the city doesn't know we're here. <laughs> yeah, what I did is that I, uh, I didn't want to reconnect, so I was just like, okay, let's just end the stream. Oh yeah, yeah, you shouldn't take live advice from me. I'm a fucking Twitch streamer. But, you know, if I help, I do find great joy in that. You know what? Is it just me, or does the Sharduja, does the mask here look like 
Blue from Blue's Clues. Like the dog? Is that just me? Hello? Just me? Is she... It, it looks like Blue. Yeah, it looks like... <laughs> oh my god. Monkey screech moment. Yeah, it looks like Blue. Uh, if she were Mayan. <laughs> oh yeah. Let me tell you guys the, um, some of the inspiration for the uh, Shabuja outside of the Atuni influence. Oh, right, that's not selected. Overall, yeah, it wouldn't fucking put anything there if it wasn't selected. No. Wow, 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 wow. So I wanted somewhere between a western dragon and a, a, an eastern dragon, like the Long Noodle Dragon and like St. George's Dragon, essentially. And I was like, oh wow, it would be so cool if I could do that, and then have, like, Mayan influence. So I'm glad someone picked up on the Mayan influence. New event in my new game, so I'm gonna go into semi-like mode, but I still have my eyes on chat. Oh, sure you do. You're looking at 2B's ass, you little degenerate. I'm glad that you're enjoying the, uh... I'm glad that you're doing something that brings you joy, though. It was the first thing? Oh my god. That makes me very happy. Muchas gracias, Senor, Senor Steven. Okay, yeah, the selection on this sleeve is like fucked. It's like transparent, so I have to color over it 17 times. Everywhere else, it's perfectly normal. Yeah, yeah, of course, it would be perfectly fucking normal. Oh, you know what? That that'd be pretty cool spell. To make it the Jaguars. La la ba na na ru ru ba na 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 da. Taking my time with pieces like this, it's it's fun. Which world was ended? What do you mean, which world? It's what worlds are you thinking of that have died to? Oh, whoopsie daisies! That have died to jackwire rain. Sadly lacking. Uh, you guys probably wouldn't know it. But I used to be huge into this game called Idle Heroes. It's a fucking piece of shit pay to win game. But when I was playing it, I had no concept of that. And I would grind and grind and grind in that game and get nowhere. Because it's it's not meant for the, the free players. It's meant for the pay pigs. It's made for the whales. Oh, my- Whoa! That's badass. Maybe I could incorporate some elements of that into a into a Karan culture. Maybe I could go. That's really fucking cool though. Oh, Steven, I don't- do you know any of the lore of the Karan people? Their- their tribes? Because I think you would- you would gain a lot of enjoyment from it. Yeah, I did that on the wrong layer, but fuck it. It's just meant to be- wait, where am I? La 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 What? What did you- What sort of crackhead shit? What sort of shoddy? 
What sort of crackhead shit is this on? Oh my god, let me tell you one of my favorite aspects of, Qur of Quran culture. So... Uh... Hello? So up there- oh, it gets to the- What? That's the most stupid thing I've ever seen. I love Krita! It's so cool! Oh. Oh my god. The, the frame is from when we were building this desk. Oh. Ooh. Pit stains! Oh. That's epic. Uh. Oh, the four worlds? So there's a nine. Oh, wait. It's Laylock. I'm gonna look at this. Thank you very much for showing me this. I didn't know anything about Mayan, uh, ancient Mayan religion. That looks so fucking cool. Um, oh, right, right, Karan War. I was too busy getting pissed off at Greta. You know, typical, typical Pythania stream stuff, I suppose. So, there are four tribes, or nationalities rather, but it's easier to say tribes, of Karada. We have the, the Gakuran, which is, this is a man from a, uh, a Gakuran tribe. Uh, then we have the, oh my fucking god, just bust my bussy, why don't you? I think it's because the colors are similar, Krita just like shits its diaper when it sees it. Uh, we have the... Uh, Hosakari, which sounds like how you suck a dick. Not intentional, definitely. Then we have the, the Junigu, or Junigu, rather. Oh, actually, there's a perfect picture. And then the fourth tribe it's Junigu, Hosakari, Gakuran, uh, whatever. There's, there's fucking four tribes, all right. Um, here's some general lore about that would apply to all Quran cultures. It is primarily a patriarchy, so political power is given to the men. Women are expected to cover their faces. Uh, so this is a, a, I think this is a Hosakadi man. Uh, we'll get to what exactly he is in a, in a second. And then here are um, Jinglegan women. And they're all wearing uh, special niqabs that hide their face. They're, but they're kind of like ninjas too. It's pretty epic. Oh, actually, hold on. Uh, <laughs> so I don't accidentally open up some porn. I'm serious. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Yeah, here's a couple... Here's a Jinrigan couple. And then here is a Hosakadi. Hosakadi! <laughs> Porn! <laughs> oh god. Alright, here we go. So here's a Hosakadi couple. You can see that the, the woman is wearing a lot, a lot of conservative clothing. She has a veil over her face. While the man, you know, he's just kind of like vibing. While for the uh, Jinrigan couple, the man is also the, the man is also vibing, but the female, uh, the the female, the woman here, she's wearing she's completely covered. You don't see any skin whatsoever. Um, so more general things, Karan men are completely clean shaven on the face, uh, both. I shouldn't say both genders, but they- LORE! 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 I should play the Rite of Spring. Uh, uh, both genders grow out their hair extremely long, and they put it into these super intricate- They typically put it into these super intricate braids. That's more for the men. Men only take their hair out of the braid. Uh, 
uh, and intimate situations. We'll get to uh, how they approach sexuality in a second. And no, I'm not going to talk about frock sex. I'm just talking about how they culturally view it. God damn it! Anyway. Um, yeah, they're kind of, their culture is kind of between feudal Japan, the Italian Renaissance, and the Ainu tribe with how they, uh, with their approach to uh, visual design. In fact, actually. Oh, I, I, I have a traditional picture of it somewhere. Frog bonk war? Bonk? So, back to this picture. Um, so it's curious. Oh yeah, yeah, writing. This is actually a full-on uh, Duchalian writing system. You can find it uh, if you scroll up a little bit in the Wanderling channel in the Discord. It used to be the Kerbal one, but now it's Wanderlings. And I, I wrote the, uh, the names of everyone in chat. Uh, there's some consonants that don't uh, exist in uh, Dushalian. Dushalian is also the Quran writing system. It's that's a whole other thing. Uh, but like Holstein Bunny would be Holstein Lali. They have a lot of clicks. It's kind of hard to to say. Caitlin Starpath would be Gedali Starach. Houdinho got super bastardized, it's just Houdin. Because uh, they don't have the nya, they don't have the mu, they don't have the na. <laughs> and they, they can't put uh, vowels after clicks, only before them. But over here, they actually, they all have their own little symbols. That's, that's also in the Wanderling, uh, Wanderling channel. And that's, uh, that's a good segue into this stuff. Uh, this is an alphabetic, um, non-diacritic, no-vowel version of the Gakurad symbol. So, uh, this is G, this symbol here, G, uh, Gakurad, but there's no vowels, it's just gay. Yeah. Gay! G, K, R, D for like the, the consonants of the word Gakura. But that's curious because these women aren't aren't Gakuran or Gakuradehat and neither is this Hosakiri man or Hosakiri Hosakiti man. So it's a little curious. They're they're in a temple, it seems like, with these uh, Shabduja. The Shabduja they are they're kind of like the the forces of nature, like from elves and dwarf fortress, but they're evil. They're kind of somewhere. They're like yokai, but always evil, and they represent the uh, force of nature. And the Karan people are absolutely horrified of nature. They do not like organic shapes. They love squares because it is the least organic shape you could possibly come up with. So most of their architecture is very blocky and square, rectangle. So what's that? Why is this Hosakiri man? Uh, you know, what, what's he doing? Why is he with these Jun Jungian women in this Gakurad temple? Well, you know how I said earlier that Karan society was. Patriarchal. It, it most actually all of the most of the power is given to men. It is a religious belief that if a man uh, is brought to climax, sexual climax. <laughs> this is so awkward because they're like fucking weird Greek frog babies. If he's if he uh, climaxes, so to speak. And is it is completely consensual? Can oh, it's getting hot in here. It is completely consensual. Like he did not uh, object to him being brought to climax. Basically, uh, he becomes a coomer, essentially. He is ostracized from society because, uh, like, he is denied access from politics. He is denied access from. Uh, most jobs, 
he's denied access even from the heavenly afterlife. Like, he will go to HELL! So, uh, there's a word for, uh, these, these kumars. It's called shahadi. Uh, and specifically, shahadi who admit themselves to, uh, to a, a, a harem, essentially. I don't have a word for harem yet. I'll come up with one. Uh, he is then called a shahadi hat. So, shahadi means... Uh, one who masturbates or kumar, basically, but the the introduction, the addition of hat at the end of shahadi, it kind of implies that it, it, it's a an ex it's an extremely vulgar and dehumanized. Oh fuck! I wish I had a not button. It's it's extremely de dehumanizing because. Uh, the hut suffix is like used for tools, objects, not for people. It's like referring to someone as an it, essentially. But if it were like a, uh, like a word, yeah. Basically, he's a dildo, uh, and he's shamefully admitting himself to this Janigan tribe. I know. Yeah, it's it's like calling. A man a dildo, but in like an extremely derogatory fashion. Like, I like I'm vulgar, right? Like I, I say bad words all the time. I would say shahadi, but I would not say shahadi hut. Like that's how vulgar that word is. Like it is not to be used lightly. And then almost because uh, Quran people are extremely religious and they're, uh, you know traditional, conservative, whatever word you want to say. And they only use the word. Yeah, it's like, it's worse than the gamer words, I swear to god. Like, that's how bad the saying shahadi hot is. It is almost always, if it is used, it has to be in an extremely sacred, uh, religious context. So that's what this picture is. This Hosakuri man has been ostracized from his, uh, his, you know, tribe, and he has traveled to basically apply to bone all these women. <laughs> so like, <laughs> uh, and it, it's not, it, it's actually kind of a sweet deal for the Shahadihat because, uh, you know, basically the women, they, they tr it's like a, an isekai anime. They treat him with the respect. They gave him tons of food. Uh, they, they treat him with the, as if he has a terminal illness, because that's kind of how they view it. It's like, oh my god, he, he won't go to heaven, so we have to make his life extremely luxurious. Uh, and oftentimes, the, the physical stress uh, of being a shahadi, like not boning, like not boning the women, that's not stressful. Well, maybe it is stressful. I mean, they're basically using him as, as a dildo. But, like, the stress of, like, not being able to go to heaven, which is, like, a huge deal. That's a huge, huge deal. You know, that he... Uh, uh, let's just say Shahadi Hot don't last that long. Uh, and because... Uh, and that's that's how reproduction works on Karada, because 99% of men don't even become a Shahadi, let alone admit themselves to become a Shahadi Hot. So the genetic diversity is a little... <laughs> uh, uh. Well, the good part is... Uh, a shah Let's say we have a Jungin Shahadihat. He's He won't breed with people from his tribe, let alone people from his nationality in general. He's gonna fucking circumnavigate Karada to find a different nationality because um, even though he has all of his hair here, which he really shouldn't, but I thought it was cool so he kept it, maybe he's been walking for a while. The reason why long hair is so important for uh, Karan people is because it represents purity and to cut it, like that's how punishments, like severe punishments are, um, are 
given out on Karada. They cut your hair. And having short hair is a sign of extreme shame. So it's kind of obvious if you've been ostracized. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly with it. Because here's the braid. So the braids, they're supposed to be uh, West, like, German-influenced, but uh, it's kind of hard to see here. Let's see. Yeah. But you can see he has the top knot and then, like, an, an extra little thing on his head. And you can see the dark part here is supposed to be his hair, but he's bald on the very top, except for that top knot. Because I wanted to have, like, equal parts West and East. Like, he's wearing tights, but he's wearing, like, the Japanese sandals. And I don't think they wore tights in feudal Japan. And, like, for the, the Jungian women, they have, a, a it's not a burka, because a burka is, like, this entire thing, right? Like, the, the, the niqab is just the head. So they're wearing a niqab uh, and a scarf, but they, you know, uh, but in this here, they have like this pagan Russian, like zigzag, you know, Ren Fair thing going on. But they look like ninjas, you know. Yeah, here's a Jungian man. He has the, like the. Italian explorer hat, but he has like uh, the Kodama, I believe it's called, and he has like that that the monk vest on, but he's wearing like uh, like Western boots. And he's got poofy uh, sleeves, long Western braids. So I, I wanted to go for a good mix. It's okay for it to lean one way or the other. But anyway, that's enough talking. Enough talk! Yeah, back to Arto. But I'm glad that you like it. Because I, I think it's a really neat idea. And I, I hope it doesn't come across as, like, culturally <laughs> appropriative. I think that's the silliest thing. All oh, right, yeah. Creed at you, dumb idiot. You fool! Oh god. I love Creed. Yeah. <laughs> Which is gonna be like, oh, he said he said the gamer word. Or oh god, don't take that out of context. He said the gamer word, but for a different language. You would be. I mean, this is uh, Steven, This is technically the, the the same universe as the Kerbal stuff. It's just now they're not Kerbals. And I guess you know now that. Uh, I can make my own planets. The sky's the limit. Okay, let me close the queue, because uh, it's already midnight. <laughs> oh god, where is it? There we go. La 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 Like, this used to be Karada. used to be Ike. But now it's Karada. Okay, let's change this. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I'll feel really bad if I keep you up. Sleep is the most important thing to me. I'm just staying up because I don't have to get up until 2 p.m. tomorrow. I'm not gonna go to bed at like fucking 2 in the morning or uh, 8 in the morning. But I'll be up for a little bit. Because I, I like hanging out with you guys. I like catching up with the, my old homies. It's epic to see you. 
epic. And it was pretty cool. Pretty neat. Good vibes. I'm glad that you guys, uh, and if anything, I'm grateful for you guys being around. Not to sound gay or anything, oh. but. Five hours? Oh no. <laughs> You know, if you're ever thinking about making art, what's stopping you? I always love seeing your art. Sleep. <laughs> oh, I've been feeling that. Like, I've been wanting to do more animation stuff, and I've been wanting to do a bit more of this art, and I want to draw RJ stuff, but it's like, fuck, I have to eat and sleep. I still haven't looked at any of my music history shit. Yeah, this week. Big uh-oh moment. Shit. Speaking of uh-oh, I need to select the insights of these. Public speaking? Oh, I actually quite liked my public speaking class. I'm assuming you're taking it for a gen ed. <laughs> You fear speaking? Oh no. That was it. I, I will admit, of course I got anxious during public speaking class, but uh, it's a good skill to, to practice. It really helped me with my uh, confidence issues because I think I was a sophomore when I took it. Right? Yeah. Because I was looking at that stupid dumb bitch of a roommate. That stupid dummy. Oh my god, Steven, I feel that a lot. Like, when I'm streaming on Twitch, and you know, people are just kind of vibing in chat, and I'm like trying, <laughs> trying to like spark a conversation, it, it does get a little scary, because it's like, am I not interesting? Are they just like, chilling? But after a while, it's just like, you gotta do what you, uh, uh, oh, that's too bright. You gotta do shit for you, even if it is for a class. You know, not even to pay attention to what they have to, or I guess their lack of interest. Their, uh, fuck, it's hard to concentrate. La 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 Like, I am someone this. Oh yeah! What's it called? Silence? <laughs> yeah, like, um, so I love music theory, but I feel like whenever I even start about music theory, Everyone, oh god. There we go. I want a nice crisp snap. Crisp. What an awesome word. I love the, I love that word. Do you guys like the word crisp? Um, but whenever I start, the instant I start, uh, talking about music theory, I feel like everyone tunes out because they're like, oh my god, this is so fun. But I find a lot of interest in it, and I like talking, and I'll just keep going and going and going. That's kind of what the uh, the lore talk was, like, even though one person was interested in it, you know, that's one person, that's better than zero. That's kind of how I feel about, uh, attention. Lore! 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 That's how I feel about attention in general. Like, yeah, more people could pay attention to me, or... I could be grateful for the people who do. That's what I am. I really like that you guys just congregate and listen to me babble on about stupid dumb shit. <laughs> what an awesome, what an awesome way to spend time. I couldn't be happier. So even if there's one person interested, 1 a.m. Oh my god, buddy. Rest well. 
rest as well as your little bunny body will let you. Thank you so much for staying so late on the stream. I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. What a cute little, cute little dumb idiot bunny. I love him so much. There he goes. <laughs> Puffing and frolicking away. What a beautiful little guy. <laughs> Fuck, he looks like- he looks somewhere between Mayan Blue's Clues and Einstein. Like, crack Einstein. Is that just me? I to you. Oh. 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 Thank you. I will have a good day tomorrow. I'll do it just for you. I'm actually pretty grateful for being a barely full-time college student because that means- I mean, I still have a shit ton of- oh, fuck. I shit a ton of stuff to do, but I only have like one or two class- actually, most days it's one class. This week it's actually been pretty good because my, uh, my Stravinsky professor is off like a checklist of Slovenia or some shit for a composition uh, thingy that he's doing. Oh, I was like, <laughs> I figured you were just so tired. <laughs> Take it easy, bunny, and make sure your phone doesn't break. <laughs> oh, wow, that looks clean. Oh, yeah, how, uh, I haven't really envisioned how women uh, really work in Karan society. Uh, it's just kind of like, oh yeah, men have power, and it's like, oh, what about the, what about the women? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm thinking they kind of live like a segregated society. Like women live in a. I, I guess my idea for the Jun Jungian women is uh, they're kind of warriors, and I feel like uh, while the men are too busy, you know, uh, not jacking off. Specifically not jacking off. Uh, this could be a little bit darker, actually. Let's bring in a little bit. This would be a good color for the highlight. Is that too much? No, that's just right, actually. It's called a cherubim. Terror angels. Oh shit, is this still the, uh, oh, it is still the Dwarf Fortress fun. Her feet now, oh, dude. Poor little. What's your. What species is your mount? But I, I figured, you know, the, the Jingin women, they are. You know, they're kind of like warriors, so I feel like they would feel a, a warrior niche. But for the other. Uh. For the other uh, tribes, the other nationalities, they kind of just they vibe. It's a tricky because they're not they're not taken as wives unless it's by a shahadihad. And you know, like seventeen, it doesn't take seventeen women to clean up after one guy and his kids. So <laughs> I'm thinking. Uh, Maybe they just like chill out and just do their own thing. They live kind of like side by side. It's like that episode of the Fairly Odd Parents where Timmy Turner was like, I wish that men and women lived separately. Hunting drone. Oh, okay, so she like helps you uh, survive essentially. Or does, does she dream for herself? That's pretty fucking cool, though. Both. Oh, that's so cool. I'm sorry to hear about her tendrils. That must really suck. That's like, uh... That's like... Trying to live without a mouth. Sure. Hold on. 
Oh, shit. A huge, monstrous creature bred by the Hemothurge to test its wayward flock. In his long-necked, almost saurian, humanoid body augmented by external ribs, a spine-like tail, and a beatific? Beat my beak to pick? Oh my god, that's scary. A beatific serene humanoid face with a mouth that stretches to the back of its cheeks. Two pairs of wings sprout from its back. High quality metallic protrusions resembling other born of other bones form a carapace that covers most of their body. A halo of red light glows balefully across- oh my god, above its head. It has an angular chin. Oh, his teeth are short. His head is short. His skin is white. His carapace is silvered. Oh my god! Whoa! Holy shit. That sounds fucking metal. Oh shit. Alright, I need to take a small break. You killed that fuck? How big was it? Because when I hear the word- Whenever you're playing Dwarf Fortress and you hear the word Saurian, you need to fucking run. Bruh. Alright, I will be right back. Dragons! Dragon sized? My mount was the one taking the brunt of its assault. Oh, okay. Yeah, your mount got fucked up. Jesus Christ. I don't think I'd be able to deal with it. I would, I would look at it and go, oh, oh, that's cool. What sort of creature is that? I would look at the description and just run. I'd be scared shitless. Hmm. Oh my. You know what? I admire your dedication to your, to your mount. I would be like, she's unsalvageable, leave her behind. Oh! Oh my god, Steven, I love doing beast quests in, uh, in adventure mode. 
Those are the most fun quests. Hello. Oh, there we go. At least in my opinion. In my humble opinion. I'm pressing the E key. Hello? Hello, bitch? I know, honestly, uh, I don't know if I told you this, Steven, but I've been getting more and more, uh, motivation to maybe pick, pick, uh, Dwarf Fortress back up. When you ask your boss for a quest. So what do you mean, uh, by your boss? Because I don't remember that from Adventure Mode. Which means that it must be like a... Are you a mercenary? Is it part of the mob? Oh, it is? Oh, I don't remember anything about a boss. Maybe I should pick, pick, uh, pick Dwarf Fortress back up after all these years. You know, PP has a. Uh, he's actually been thinking about uh, uh, playing Dwarf Fortress again himself. Because he hasn't. I don't think he's ever played Adventure Mode. So that could be a fun go stream. I need to talk to him about it though. But he seemed interested when I uh, brought it up during his stream. We were actually going to do that a long time ago, but then uh, PP got busy with moving, and then I I got busy with like composition stuff, and it didn't seem like a worthwhile business endeavor, so I was like, ah, I'll just wait on it. Uh, but I think he's at his new place now, which is good. So maybe maybe he's down for it now. I, I guess I'm still interested. I've just been so busy with my own shit. Like, I'm super busy. I've been super busy these first few weeks of school. Um, because I'm trying to get all my compositions out to my performers. Because of my, uh, my senior recital coming up. But honestly, like, once that's done and out of the way, all I have to do is just make sure that they're rehearsing. And it should be done with... Hopefully, with all this composition work, I really get my, I can start kicking my butt into it, you know, get my booty into gear. When you have those starts, you- Oh, you do? I never fucking knew that. And if you ask them- Oh! Okay, because I knew you could ask for, like, quests and assignments, but I didn't know you had a boss. Maybe I talked to my boss several times and didn't even know that I was working for them. That's really cool. I'll have to keep that in mind. You would think out of all the shit in Adventure Mode, I would know something like that. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at all the difference in shading. Holy fucking moly, look at that. Oh, glass of iced tea. Nice. Nice food. Nice. Oh, gross. But a heart person. Oh! That's more mental notes I'm gonna have to take. Because I usually play as a crossbowman, because uh, crossbows are OP. If you actually get the good, if you get the skills to uh, use it well. Oh man. Oh. You know, I've been having an itch to do speedrunning as well. Maybe, maybe we could do uh, Dwarf Fortress speedruns. I think that'd be that could be pretty epic. That was like the, the last thing I did before, uh, just, I didn't give up on Dwarf Fortress. I was just bored with it because I felt like there was nothing else to do. 
was like, yep, did everything that Adventure Mode has to offer. And I basically did. I played it fucking every day for several months on end. What would you speedrun? So, uh, I didn't play Fortress Mode, because you know it's me. But in Adventure Mode, you can take quests. So I figured, a quest. Complete a single quest, and that would be any percent. So, my ideal thing is that you take the beast quest. You go search for a beast, and you kill them, and the quest ends. Time ends. So the optimal build would be an albatross man, uh, an albatross demigod, uh, who is a master thrower, a uh, great crossbowman, uh, max out the quality on your 15 or 25 volts, max out the quality on your crossbow. The reason why you'd be an albatross is because you want to be able to fly, and you also want a, a creature that starts with an A, so it's at the very top of the list. Alternatively, you could get a blue jay man, uh, or a crow man, whatever. He just needs to be able to fly for uh, safety's sake and for travel's sake. Um, uh, um, where am I? Oh, and you need a small pocket-sized world as well. Uh, yeah, I think my record was like just under four minutes or something. It's not on the leaderboard because there was like a bunch of drama with the uh, the Dwarf Fortress speedrunning people. What about all? Uh, oh? What about a pigeon? I don't know who Blizz is, but the more people who are playing Adventure Mode, the better. I love Adventure Mode. I think Adventure Mode is epic. I think it is. Oh, Blizzy. What? He doesn't know how to do Adventure Mode and he claims to be a Dwarf Fortress streamer. He hasn't streamed Dwarf Fortress in several months. And yet his uh, emotes are Dwarf Fortress themed. I think that's epic. He's a liar, a scammer, and a cheat. I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, I, I, speaking of being a liar, scammer, and a cheat, I replaced Dwarf Floss with this emote. I think Booba is awesome. Like the other ones we could get use out of, but not Dwarf Floss. Booba? 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 I love that emote, by the way. I love Booba. Booba? Booba, 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 booba. Oh yeah, speaking of lore, this is tangentially, tangentially related. We haven't done a lore stream in a little while because I was trying to get used to this new schedule. But we will do one Friday. I think those are gonna be the new war streams. Oh yeah. We actually I think we looked at this on uh, Monday. This is what uh, reminded me to add Booba, by the way, that fucking meme. That fucking Booba meme. Yeah, I think it was Lunar who uh Lunar who shared it. Oh, Potato, what do you think of the shading so far? I think it looks pretty fucking cool. I love how this was supposed to be just a quick thing. Oh, yeah! Oh, I love seeing those birds. If you got it. If you got them. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, if you have those birds, I want you to spam them. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Birds. Oh. You know, I'm so glad that this isn't filled with ink, 
because I knock it over so fucking often and I feel like my desk would be stained black. Oh yeah, you're right. I guess we've only been. Right, right. Let's see. It only has been- oh, wait. It's only been an hour. You're right. Oh, I love seeing those birds. I love it when you guys spam the bird. Remember, don't flip the bird. Spam the bird. <laughs> what? The stream died? What do you mean the stream died? Let's see. Alright, time for the fade. Right. Now we move. Move, dumbass. Sorry, move, fat ass. Wait, just go up. Yeah, that's all I wanted. Oh no, he's naked! Oh shit! Remember, burps, don't take life advice from a streamer. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I will be honest, I'm just kind of blabbing about. If you want to take advice from me, go ahead, but uh, I'm not responsible. Oh my god, it's white! My eyes! My eyes! Oh my god! It's 2 a.m. I blame Pi. No, not the spreadsheet I'm banging my head to make. No, it was Pi's fault. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh, speaking of oh shit, I forgot to shave these teeth. Remember, kids, this is life advice I want you guys to take really seriously, alright? Remember to brush your teeth. I know that's a- I know that that's some good advice. Brush your teeth and don't be like me. Oh, uh, I do want to highlight later, actually. Actually! La 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 What's up, checkers? Uh, is that what you- I know that you were cool with another name, but I'm just checking in. How are ya? I think it's really cool to see you in here. Check out what we're drawing. It's a wanderling wearing a, a cool kabuki-like mask. I'm trying out new stuff with the colors and shading. Borb! Check it out. Oh yeah, I know we just spammed the bird, but... Bird love, JP Glove. Okay, okay, because I knew that was your old name, and I thought you said you were cool with it, but you've been checkers for a really long time. I just like making sure you're comfortable. Oh, check it out! Oh, wait. Oh, God! Oh, he's running! There he goes. The death buggies. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, we got a new BRB screen, I think, since the last time you were here. It's been a while, like a few days. This is brand spanking new, by the way. I, I fucking love that bird. I can't wait to make more animations for you guys, because that animation project was so... It was really fun. I love sharing it with you guys. But, um, yeah, we've been working on this guy for way too fucking long. Way too fucky. Wow! Oh my god! Thanks for the host. Thank you very much, checkers. I will take it with glee. I feel like people only host the stream so they can hear the wow. What? Wanderlings, the internet show. I concur, my good boy. Oh my god, he's fucking slippery and shiny. I wanna, like... Oh god, I wanna, like, touch him. My challenge, if you want it. No, I've gotta be fucking toast after we're done with this. But, uh, I could complete it in my free time. Yeah, maybe not all, though. Okay. Maybe it's a little bit over. 
Potato's like, oh, you're gonna do it in your free time. Oh, draw porn. Draw porn for me. Uh, let's see. Potato's like, <laughs> really? <gasps> Not porn related? What is it? Oh my god, I just want to touch him. You know, I love it when I'm making 2D art and it looks like you could just go out and touch it. Is anyone else with me? Like, you see a piece of 2D art and you're like, oh my god, I could just touch it. I could just reach my hand out and feel how slippery this fucker feels. Is that just me? Coffee? Thank you so much. Oh yeah, by the way. Uh, uh, I also uh, have a coffee. Oh, fucking hell. I also have a coffee. <laughs> it is in no way affiliated with my, uh, with my Twitch, of course. It's just, you know, something that's on the side. Definitely not used for nefarious deeds. No, no, no. We would never do that. Oh, yeah, that looks way better. Yeah, because pink on both sides looked kind of weird. Oh my god, I just want to fucking put my mouth on it. I want to, like, lick it. I want to lick his fucking mask. Okay, don't take that out of... Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Don't take that out of context. He was openly trans? Actually, uh, I, I came out as a uh, NB to my, uh, my school shit. Like, I'm using in my, uh, uh, the preferred name I've been using with my, uh, with my close friends for the last few months. And everyone's been really good with it so far actually like I was expecting so much more um, uh, resistance so to speak because I'm in a super uh, conservative state let's say and everyone's just been super cool with it it's been pretty epic like yeah there have been a stupid uh, a few stupid questions but it's been really nice. Pleasant, even. Too pleasant. Mm. But it's been pretty foggers. Oh. Oh my god. I need to get used to using neutral backgrounds because it's impossible. It's absolutely fucking impossible to tell where I am. Or maybe I just need to change my curve. That's probably it. I need to change my cursor settings. I just changed it in the first place because uh, I have a lot of programs that are white, and having a white cursor uh, on a white background is. can't see it at all. And then vice versa, if I have a black cursor, I also have a lot of black shit I use. Can't win. So I just, I have my cursor set so that it's the inverse of the color it's on top of. Everyone in classes I have been has accept- oh! Wrong- uh, <laughs> except with an A, perhaps. But that's nice, that's really nice to hear. Oh, wrong color. Is this? Yeah, everyone's been like using my pronouns, they've been using my my name. That's fucking poggers. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
the shading, holy shit. I wanna put my mouth on his fucking mask. On his hands, he looks slimy. Oh god. Do you ever just have like a primal urge to just like do weird shit like that? Is it just me? Probably just is just me. Dude, TTRPGs? I still need to get back to the uh. It's no longer gonna be Kerbal related because those guys were mean. Kerbal guys, but. I still have the uh. all the shit around. All the documentation, which I edited a, a shit ton of stuff to. Bum bum bum! Oh, he's driving! Oh, look at him! Goodbye, Kerbal. Hello, froggies and death buggies. Oh God! <laughs> oh shit! Oh god, they have guns. Oh my god, and whips? This needs a highlight. <laughs> I don't know, whips are pretty dangerous. That's a really good weapon to have, whips. Right, time for the fade. Oh, and the, uh, Actually, there's gonna be a couple of fades. Oh, wait. There will be a couple of fades. Way, 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 fades. I know. I actually didn't know that. I think they broke the sound. Oh my god. That's all I wanted. Thank you. Challenge sound. I'll be checking. I'll be sure to check it out because I'm. My sleep schedule has been fucked recently. Like, absolutely fucked. Oh well. Yeah, in bed boom. In bed boom. Any questions? I? Oh yeah, dumbass! I will! It's always a pleasure to do stuff with potato. Potatoes, nice to me. So that'll be the color layer. had anything against uh uh oh here we go fruit against traditional art lately it's just I've been learning a lot with the uh with uh I really want to get good at digital lately. I know, yeah, there's so much to choose from. Yeah. Whenever you're digging around with the, uh, the stuff like this, it's always so easy to like, hello? Put so much on that it just get, it ruins all the fucking work that you did. Like, just, you just gotta be subtle about it. Like even now, it, yeah. Maybe. Just like something, something nice and fairly subtle. But I have been doing a lot of. Um, I, I've been, because I figure I want to make trying a main form of income, 
So I've been doing a lot of and like proper anatomy studies from uh, like specific drawing books. Oh, there we go. Okay, all I had to do was press your buttons. studies. Just like something nice and fairly subtle like this. And I'll get even smoother as we do the uh, final watercolor thing. Oh! Epic! Look, he's got cum splooge all over his mask. That is so epic! I've also been doing a lot of perspective studies because those are, I wouldn't say necessarily struggled on anatomy, but it could always look better. I'll just call that a uh, high fade. tell that brings a lot more life into it. And finally this will be the, uh, the distance fade. Oh, uh, reselect please. Reselect please. But you need to make the shit soup. Super. Oh my god. I said- I just fucking said make it super subtle! Yeah, sure, do that. Yeah, make it piss yellow. That's gonna be epic! Yeah, make it piss yellow. Yeah, baby, do it, please. Request? What? You also sent me a copy? Damn, shoddy! Thank you. I really appreciate it when people go to copy instead of, uh, instead of just going to Twitch. Thank you so much. I'll have a lot of free time tomorrow. Uh, I need to focus on my trombone piece. Oh god, it has a lot of work to go, but... Uh, hopefully I, I will be able to get it to you tomorrow. It is always a pleasure to work with you. It is quite a pleasure. Alright, time to do the final thing and that's watercoloring. You should sleep, and I will encourage you to do so. Sleep is the most important thing a human can do. 
besides eating it first. Oh yeah, okay, let's turn all these off. Okay, do you see how much difference that makes? Like, oh my, oh my god, shawty. That makes a world of difference. Oh my god. <laughs> Me. Near drop rates. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> Orange. What is it with old homies coming back into the chat? What's up, Orange? Why, what you, what's annoyed about? It's late. What are you being annoyed about? What's wrong? I think I use this. Whoa. That's big as fog. That's bigger than my penis. Then my weenies. Oh, you just like being out. See, uh, like the lines already look cool with that, but then you do this and it makes it look way cooler. Makes it look painted. It's epic. Oh yeah, speaking of people who put together uh, emotes, hopefully I remember the names of them. Potato came up with these. Oh shit, I did remember. He was 100 times smarter than me. Bruh. Still- <laughs> That's funny. I would- I would just get triggered. I'm so- I don't know if you guys have figured this out or not, but I'm incredibly insecure. I feel like I- I let it slip way too hard sometimes. I'm just stubborn. And insecure. You know what, Steven? I think that's a good idea. I fucking love seeing- this is one of my favorite fucking things, by the way. No cap. Uh, I love seeing sh two different interpretations of the same thing. Like, two different art of the uh, same description. That makes sense. That shit makes my weenie hard. That makes my weenie hard. I'm, if you're gonna take me down, I'll take you with me. Daddy, please. Daddy, what? Please, what? What do you want me to do? What can Daddy do for you? Uh. A block of cheese is just a loaf of milk. Oh man. So I made egg braid. Egg braid. I'm losing it egg bread earlier today and that chisel I made enough to fill five gallon bags worth of it like I made so I made an, an, an inordinate amount of fucking egg bread yeah egg bread what you want to be whipped oh my why? That's not nice. Whipping isn't fun. You wouldn't want to be whipped, would you? Whipping is for the animals. You're not an animal, are you? I guess you're a Brazilian. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, please. Don't tell mom. Not the circus. Based? P based? Yeah, cancelled. <laughs> cancelled! Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god! Right. Oh yeah, Orange, what do you think of the, uh, the new lighting? Wait, what campaign? Are you quoting a campaign? Miss- or, uh, I guess, uh, Mix Orange? Oh, 
Oh, that was a PETA campaign. Everything that PETA does is fucking offensive. What do you mean that specific campaign? I didn't even know that was a PETA. I don't really pay attention to PETA because they just fucking do stupid shit all the time. Fuck PETA, man. They're like, oh man, cruelty kills animals. Oh no. And then they like go and steal people's pets and kill them. <laughs> oh, sexist. Epic. Wouldn't expect any better from Mr. PETA. Yeah, they are terrible people. I, s I don't know how PETA is still fucking afloat. Like, who's who's funding this shit? The US government? Actually, probably, yeah. Those fuckers probably are. Oh, the watercolor brush makes this look so much cooler. Just, it, it, it. That's why I, I've been getting into the habit of doing just the straight, flat, blocky shapes. And then doing the water cutter block. The water. Water cup. Water cutter. The watercolor brush. I, I notice I've been saying color. The watercolor. Alright, kids, pick up your. Your twenty dollars and your watercolor brush. Peter causes more pets to be put down, which is sad. That's sad. Oh, oh! Do you guys know of a uh, on YouTube? There's this person called the Kitty or the Kitten Lady. She's awesome. She's like covered in tattoos and she she does like T and R work for little cats and she adopts like and fosters. Uh, from like her local neighborhoods and she like goes cross-country just to save like two kittens. It's awesome. I don't know how she does it. Because like to foster a kitten you have to get up every two fucking hours so that they won't like starve to death. I know right? Yeah like when she Sheep are supposed to get cheered. That's what they were bred for. That's how they naturally are. Yeah, like they need to be sheared. If you don't shear sheep, they're gonna overheat and become ogre-like. And they're gonna be fucking miserable. You don't want a sheep to- isn't- isn't the point of PETA so that animals won't be miserable? Seems a little counterproductive to me. Chunky wonky. You know, in an alternate universe where the Americans took over the world instead of the uh, the Eurasians, uh, we could be like we could have dogs for livestock, you know, and like dog uh, dog wool blankets, and like uh, instead of horse drawn carriages, dog drawn carriages. Imagine. Ten seconds. Oh no, momento. Oh shit, paste. Yeah, I'll watch ten seconds. Just for you, Mudinho. Only for you, though. No one else. God! Oh my! Oh my God! Is that like the oh shit? Is that the original? Oh, it's a dub. Oh, it even says it dub. Boost volume. Oh, maybe next time. I'm not so tired. Oh my God! That's what I feel like right now. Kind of at the end of my rope here. I want to be done. Mudini is like, okay, I will post it in every single uh, stream from now on until you watch it. Until you watch all eight minutes of it. Good night now. Hey. Aww. I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow.
Mr. Steven, and I hope you have good dreams tonight, filled with gore, 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 gore. Hopefully not your own gore. That wouldn't be very poggers. Take it easy, my good brother. I really appreciate you stopping in. I know life's been busy, but it's really cool seeing you around. You're a gamer. Lord, 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 oh, Gore, 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 oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, is that a song, Mr. Uh, uh, Mix Orange? Oh, oh, how oh, at, at the good part? How about you share it at the good part next time? Cuck, huh? You little scug of the bug. Paratroop. Oh. I don't know, paratrooper. I know what a paratrooper is, but I don't know who they are. I'm thirsty. Remember to hydrate. I hit my fucking teeth on the cup. Oh, that's good. Oh, remember to stay hydrated, kids. Or you're gonna dehydrate. Or you're gonna die Vania, rather. should be getting done here. I can't wait to see, like, you know, this looks really small right now, but I can't wait to see what it looks like with the fade. Best part of the medley. I love Outback Safari. And Outback Safari is a really shitty level, but it has cool music. No, do not hydrate with cum, or you will die. Bruh. Whoa! Oh, he came at the end of a stream, but. Let me give a shout out, my, my, good, my good friend. My big gamer. Oh, Tarky Worky? Did he kill the bad guys? Oh, they're probably watching ads right now. What's up, Oz? How are you doing? How is your Tarko Warkle stream of Rooney? Did he kill the bad guys? Did he kill the bad guys? <laughs> oh yeah, the guy with the, uh, the, the person with the, uh, uh, the, um, the, the premium shit. Like, I, I, yeah, I am actually nearing the end of my stream. Oh. No, not the cute, aw, oh, whatever. Dude, the, the studio on it doesn't even know what they're fucking saying. But, oh, uh, how is Tarkleton? Let me show you the, the uh, thing so far. We're just putting the final touches. All we gotta do is apply the final touches. That's what it's gonna look like with the fade. I might add a slightly darker... In fact, I think that's a great idea. You got... No! You got me, dog. That's so sad. Did he get scungulated? Absolute crumble, crumba jaded. Python Jade? What? Python Jade? <laughs> uh, my, me? My outfit? Oh yeah. Did, have you? Uh, I know you said you got the uh, the art that you ordered. I do apologize for not. Uh, we're not cropping it, but I left it that way so that you could choose any sort of uh, uh, resolution, so to speak, for any frame that you found. Because in my experience, if I cut it to what I think is a good uh, uh, what I think is a good resolution, I don't know a better word for it. I'm really tired. And then people are like, oh, I can't find a fucking frame for this. So, that's why I did that. 3D modeling? I've tried it a few times. I really want to do it. 
But I'd rather focus- Oh, Lizzie, did you see my, uh, animation? The animation that, uh, of the Jake Beak? Look at him go, oh my- Thank you! Yeah, I worked really hard on it. It took, like, three days, which is- Granted, I spent most of, the, most of those three days working on this instead of my trombone recital. Uh, or my trombone piece. But, uh, I think it looks very cute. Wow! Uh, and I want to do more animations. Currently, all of the, um, or all of the notifications, all the alert box uh, notifications should be the JB animation, but we're gonna make more. And I figured I would make an animation for the JB so that, um, because our stream anniversary actually came and went a little, a, a few days ago. So I figured, I think it would be a really neat idea to, um, to, uh, to, you know, animate all the new shit. Oh yeah, the BRB screen is different as well. I don't know the last time you've been here, Blessy, but a few things have changed. Hmm. I figured, you know, I really like streaming and I want to put uh, more shit into it to get more shit out of it. Give a little something back to all the people I've given and given and given to me. And this, this is just the beginning, you know. I know. I'm a boober. I, I need to be at the speed of life. You wish. You keep calling me a boomer, but you're older than I am, dummy. Huh? Idiota? As the Germans would say. I think this looks fucking poggers. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, oh my god, this is fucking dog shit. Why did I like that? Yeah, I think that's basically everything. That does not change the fact that you are a boomer. <laughs> More like a pooper. More like a scooper. Bitch. I shouldn't call you a bitch. That's not very nice. Oh my. Yeah, this could use uh, a little bit of darkness. Yeah, just a little bit of darkness. Uh, let's see. This is going to be a precarious operation. No, I don't think that looks good. Yeah. Best not to dick around with it. How does Chet feel about it? Let's do a little bit of a stretch. We haven't stretched. It looks like we've only been streaming for an hour and a half, but we've been streaming since 8.30, and now it's 1 o'clock. Our stream crashed. And not in the funny meme way, like, my internet actually died. Let's do the, uh, this trick. I love seeing, like, how the... how the different shit adds up. I love seeing shit like that. That makes me so hard. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh baby. Oh good lord. Oh, I have one last idea. 
Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, Mr. Streamer! Oh shit! <gasps> the screen is white! Now, actually, that's not gonna work. What I want to do is I want to select the entire outline, but it's impossible. Oh wait, maybe. Maybe not? Oh yeah, but it, it would make it, like, way thicker. Thicker? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Maybe in the future I'll be sure to take into account because I'd like the, uh, the outline not to be, like, black, you know. Maybe next time. I think it looks good. Alright. Let's go, uh, let's go find someone to read. Because I'm really tired. And I'm a little hungry. I'm a little hungry. Short and stout. Here is my weenus. Here is my pow. Bothers, it bothered me a lot when I was drawing. When the line isn't fully... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is a little bothersome, isn't it? Oh, oh god, I dropped my shit. My shit. Oh, I know who to read. Ba -ba hey, if you're still here at fucking one in the morning... Uh, thank you so much for, uh, hanging out. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, we're gonna go raid Seda. Yeah, I hope you all have wonderful dreams. I hope you have a good night, a good day tomorrow, most importantly. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, good night, everyone. I'm really tired.